Hey guys. Hey, how's Jay it going? Yeah, I, I told I you I think that I was financially yeah, conservative. Yeah, you did. I am, and, that, and that's why I'm where I'm at. So. Okay. Well, on that note, uh, do you stand by your uh, your vote on Minsher? On Minsher, I do. I do. Minsher does not cause your insurance rates to go up. Here's what caused the insurance rates to go up. It's the Affordable Care Act. Yeah. It's the best parts of the Affordable Care Act that hurts. Question, because I know I got sent this from like some Republicans locally is about like your contributions. Oh, hey, Mr. It, well, I mean, to me, it just kind of looked goofy because it was only 15% within District 12A and Jeff Backer has like 76% in this met, uh, this time around. He's got 89 and you only have 19. I just Anybody taking yeah, statistics here? I am right now. Okay. <laughs> you can make stats live. But I don't tell people that stuff. Coffee? How's that going? Awesome. Oh, thank you. And, yes, I would like to talk about it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm returning the publication. Use it again. Oh, cool. Thank hey, you. Thank you. Because I read it through. Thank you. All right, thank what you. do you think? Hmm? What do you think? I mean, uh, I think uh, I was lying to dump coffee on you. I think. 
that was antagonizing people and trumpeting that you won and now you won this and you're setting up a table trumpeting about how you won. I don't drink coffee, I just like the way it smells. <laughs> Are you just gonna smell it? <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much though. I appreciate the civil discussion. Would you like free coffee? Okay, well thanks. I already get free coffee. Darn it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I fully support all the taxes I pay in this state. <laughs> Don't well, that, laugh no. about it. How do you think this state got great? Yeah, we were just, it was just a catchy slogan. So. What, to not have people pay taxes? What, what, we, is, we, what do taxes have to do with What are you the, getting at? With uh, what? Tea, tea party seems to have to do something with taxes. Is that it, that right? Was just, that was just a catchy slogan. To do uh, what? No, tea in the Bay, that's just referring to the Boston Tea Party. Yes, that had to do with taxation, as I recall. And taxation without representation. I I support taxes. Well, no, like we we like I pay taxes. We pay taxes. We're not trying to overthrow taxes, and that oh. that uh, wasn't actually really the focus. That was kind of just a catchy. Kind of slogan. provocative, though, right? I mean, we weren't trying to be provocative. Oh, good. <laughs> so I, 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 you're the first person to like to mention the tea in the bay because it was uh, the because it because we were gonna do it just based on coffee. And so bay well when i see today. tea in the bay that says to me well, revolutionary yeah, yeah war and no i and think that's well, yeah money. and it's also like kind of tipping our hat to our history which was uh, and that's we what i mean we're trying coffee. to say don't, yeah. oh yeah sorry thank you plus some uh, free coffee yeah okay i've been on the campus well, i've been in morris for about 15 years on the campus for time and, um, I'm not a Republican, but I really have wished that there would be a, a stronger, thoughtful core of conservatives side on the campus. Thank you guys very much. <laughs> nah, man. No one deserves to get fucking coffee dumped on them. Stupid. Grow the fuck up. I mean, I didn't vote for Trump, but I wouldn't dump the fucking coffee on someone. Even no matter who you vote for, called not being a douchebag. forgiveness stuff that doesn't fix the problem that is a band-aid for the problem if you know that your tuition is going to be forgiven in 15 or 20 years what have you that does not incentivize our institutions at all to lower their costs in fact it allows them to hike up their costs because they have no reason not to you know college used to be about education it used to be about uh you know argument and free thought and being able to have that back and forth but you know in this world of safe spaces uh so much of that thought uh has been gone. And conservatives understand we are born equal in terms of rights. We are, all made of, we are all made in God's image, and therefore we all have equal rights under the law. Leftists believe 
that we are all born equal in ability, which obviously is untrue. Hey, what do you think about big government? Big government sucks. Yeah, I think big government sucks. Big government sucks. <laughs> big government sucks. It's a negative portrayal of Irish people, and it's really unfair. That's that's not. I'm I'm of Irish heritage. That does not represent me. You're not a short green man. I'm not, yeah. I'm not a short little green clad huckster. Get a sign petition, sir. We're working to ban Lucky Charms. We feel like we have harsh stereotypes of Irish Americans. I We're love harsh stereotypes of Irish Americans. <laughs> <laughs> And with the uh, survey, King of Lucky Charms in the dark, standing in hall in order to protect Irish students like myself. Oh. We feel yes, like I feel this is a very racist character of my hair. Sure, I'll sign your petition. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. I'm Irish. Yes. I like Lucky Charms. Are you celebrating the Irish Gay Pride? No, Irish, Irish Pride. Pride. We're trying to get Lucky Charms banned from Sodexo. Uh, you're trying to get what? Lucky Charms banned from Sodexo. We feel like it presents It's a negative stereotype, stereotype of Irish people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have fun with that. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the humor. What's serious? What's humor? Well, we're not being humorous. <laughs> I don't understand. You guys aren't the dragon. You guys are the it's right over there. Oh, it is. Okay. Well, would you like to sign a petition to ban Lucky Charms from, uh, to protect the Irish? <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to think about that. Why do people laugh? Why do people laugh? I think it's a joke. You know what, Fry? My shoes come on tight about five times a day. And do you know why that is? Because there's little leprechauns down there yanking my shoelaces. Is this a sign petition? That offends me. <laughs> I'm triggered. I'm, you're really upset with us, you know. So. Hey, what else do you untie my shoes? You you think that's just our job? Maybe you don't know how going to around shoes. untying your shoes. <laughs> I do it because it makes sense, but I you also continue to eat this. Area. Absolutely, and you you know you're a free person. We just don't want the school to be pushing that stereotype. We will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. Buddy, you're a young man. She uh, did an amazing job uh, in the court as well as raising a family. She got through both undergraduate school and law school in five years. Approximately half of all babies that are born are female. Those boarded babies will never have a chance to grow up and become powerful women. They will never have a chance to speak their mind and to make a difference. And they will never have the chance to um, grow up and decide whether or not they want to change the world for better and make it a better and safer place for women to live in and fight for the equality of women. You know, that would be an outright lie. 
there's uh, a double standard essentially uh, when it comes to uh, portrayal of conservative women. If you have the same opportunities for you and all other women, why would you kill a life inside of you? Women had a two to one advantage in getting hired. Employers wanted to hire women by a two to one margin. You are isolating a large group of women and a large group of issues that need to be discussed. And uh, it's really important to have intellectual diversity in any conversation. But right after you have that child, that sh the child is not, you know, it can't take care of itself. It's not technically viable still. Mm -hmm. You know, so it doesn't matter if it's still in the womb or if it's outside of you. Before it's, you know, like three or four or five or six years old, it literally can't function without you being there 24-7. Single women under the age of 30 are paid 8% more than men. We should be very careful in what we call a feminist issue and really kind of make sure we're uh, discussing what is best for all women. Women are taking over a 10% pay cut for more job security, more flexibility. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. And they stay there. Won't stop now. Whoa. Keep your hands up, get them in the sky for the homies that ain't making them. My folks locked down. Whoa. I never went nowhere. No. What they say in loot is back. Yeah. Blame it on that conjure. The hood call it loot and yak. And I'm on this foolish track. So I spit my because this is okay. Hold it. This is our event, people. Please, I, I told everyone at the beginning that we're going to run through these questions and then we'll open it up in a neat and orderly way that other people can ask questions. I do think everyone should have the right to voice their opinion. That's, I believe that 100%. Freedom of speech. So, I like fucking men. You can say that for you. whenever you want. Okay? Please be quiet. Thank you. We're trying to explain <laughs> orderly. Please be quiet. 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 It's, it's our event. It's our event. It's our event. Please be quiet. We're running it the way that we want to. Thank you. Please do not interrupt. We're trying to have a... From this from, you know, Tim, please. We're trying to have a meaningful panel here. Wipe that smirk off of your face. Please be quiet. All right, now that that's over with. <clears throat> We're on meeting. Kill. Oh my God! Please, please shut up. And there's many things you can come out as, though. That was kind of our point. Okay, well, Caleb, what is specific? I guess I saw it as coming out week. There's tons of things you can come out as, like come out as conservative or come liberal out. or, I mean... You can come out as gay. You can come out as conservative. You can come out as atheist. You can come out of the closet out physically. How, how accepting is... I was trying to find a conservative group, and actually, thank you to Caitlin Egler. She's not here tonight, but she was actually the one. She was actually the one. That, she was the one. She. What? Can you please use my correct pronouns? Very disrespectful. We use correct pronouns for you. You prefer to be called he. How do you know that? Anyways.
you don't think that, but you aren't other people. And you, if you look at look at what happens at Donald Trump's rallies. I'm not saying I agree with with the guy, but look what happens outside his rallies. You got riots. You got protesters jumping on cop cars, physically assaulting, physically assaulting the support. Wow, everyone cannot talk all at once. This is physically assaulting. Good lord. His supporters. Am I right? So, Morris, my community is completely red. I came out as a Democrat in that extremely religious, extremely Republican, extremely male, white dominated community, and I never experienced any backlash. Can I and why is that? How? Because you're completely branding yourself as a community that's marginalized, which is bullshit, and that smirk on your face and your inability to keep eye contact with me is exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. I think the reason that you guys are feeling disrespect is because you don't give a shit about anybody else on this campus or any other organization on this campus, and that's why you're being treated this way, and that's why you have backlash. I've never met another Republican, ever, who's felt backlash. I didn't feel backlash coming out as a Democrat in South, South Dakota. That's because conservatives are nicer. A lot of the people who are on the left have been wearing these safety pins around to, to show all of their colleagues that they are not these racist, sexist, bigot, homophobe Trump supporters. Uh, and uh, I thought in, if there were leftists in the audience who needed them, I brought some extras. I brought some extra safety pins for you. Uh, and I also brought the diaper that goes with them. <laughs> Transgenderism is a tragic, horrible mental illness and that people who suffer from it should be treated with nothing but sympathy, and that the idea that you can magically change a man into a woman or a woman into a man is anti-biology and anti-fact and foolish, and actually is encouraging delusion uh, and does not help anybody. And this comes as somebody who's had severe mental illness in the family. Trying to humor the, de the delusions of people who are mentally ill doesn't do them any favors. And the fact is that transgender surgery doesn't do anything to lower the suicide rate. It doesn't. It's 40% before, it's 40% after. There's something that has to be done to help people, but it is not to pretend that sex doesn't exist, that men and women are, are not real, that, that you can just randomly change. Individualism is bad, right? Individualism is judgmental. Because the thing about individualism is it suggests that some things you do are better than other things, right? It suggests that some actions are smart and some actions are stupid. And this makes you hateful. This makes you judgmental. Individualism means that we will never achieve equality of outcome because some people are going to make better decisions than others. And that's racist and sexist and bigoted, we know. Fairness of outcome hasn't been achieved. Somebody's a victim. Somebody has to be a victim. If you want to know anything about the left, it's just look for the victim, right? They're, they're constantly looking for the victim. It means that the underachieving person can't have made bad decisions. They don't like individualism. The underachieving person hasn't made a bad decision. The underachieving person has been victimized by society because of their identity. Commentators on MSNBC have said, Mark Lamont Hill said this, that only white people are capable of racism. Only white people are capable of racism, which comes as a shock to black people, since there was a recent poll that showed that black people think that black people are more racist than white people. Some of us are born with two parents. This is the best privilege, right? If you're born with two parents, that's the best privilege. And that has nothing to do with white privilege. Okay, the fact is that the poverty rate among single parent white homes is 22%. The poverty rate among two parent black homes is 7%. What happened to white privilege? In the United States, if you are in the bottom 20% of income earners in the United States, there is a 90% chance that within 15 years, you'll be out of the bottom 20%. There's still tremendous income mobility in the United States. When people say there's the 1% and the 99, it's total nonsense. The people in the 1% shift all the time. I've been in the 1%, I've been outside the 1%. Most people who have been in the 1% have spent many years outside the 1%. There's a study from Harvard University, Roland Fryer, Professor Roland Fryer, who's a black guy, is front page of the New York Times like four months ago. There, he went through a thousand police shootings. He found that the cops were less likely to shoot black people than white people in similar circumstances. In 2015, there were 987 shootings in the United States, police shootings of people in the United States. Something like 26% of the people who were shot and killed were black. 
Something like 50% of the people responsible for murder in the United States are young black males. Okay, so the idea that there's something wildly disproportionate going on where cops are just looking for black people to shoot, it's not true. It's just not true. Leftists believe that freedom amounts to government-given rights. That's what leftists believe, that government gives you rights. Conservatives believe that government power is an obstacle to your rights. Leftists, power, leftists believe your rights are an obstacle to government power. Justice will be served and the battle will rage. This big dog will fight when you rattle his cage. And you'll be sorry that you mess with the U.S. of A. Cause we'll put a boot in your ass. It's the American way. Hey, Uncle Sam, put your name at the top of his list and a stand. Started shaking her fist And the eagle will fly And it's gonna be hell When you hear Mother Freedom Start ringing her bell And it'll feel like the whole wide world Is raining down on you I'm brought to you courtesy Of the 